so I'm back here now with a little more uh, tinkering with the Arduino. Um, I had previously been working on a project using the remote control and the receiver to actually have a remote control tank, but I ran into some serious issues with power syncing and thought that I had actually fried out my Arduino, so uh, I thought I'd fried that out, my Arduino there, so I decided to uh, step back from that for a while before I learned some more about power management, but anyway, so I decided to st still wanted to use the remote control and the receiver for something, so I decided to um, use these RGB LEDs that I've used before um, with the uh, the four leads there and try to uh, actually make sort of like a remote control uh, remote control light. So the basic setup here is I have I just have one of these LEDs here. I have it covered with a straw because it's pretty bright to look at all the time. But the basic idea is that as I push inputs on the controller, for now I have it set up to where this actually switches between uh, red, green, and blue. So let me shut the light off here so you can see it a little better. So here, right now, it's set to uh, to blue, which is right on the controller. But you can see here, if I push up, it'll switch to red. Down, it switches to green. And push to the right, it switches back to the blue like it was originally. Um, what is kind of cool about this is, for the time being, you can actually push two at the same time. Like if you push if you push up for red and right for blue at the same time, it'll actually mix those into like you know a nice purple color. Although that, and that flashing is it's cycling through those two different colors now. That flashing is much more evident through the camera. I, I can't even perceive the barely perceive that flash um, on the uh, by my naked eye. But you can see how it's sort of flashing between the two quickly. And then the same with you do the green to blue. You can see it kind of goes to a goes to a teal color. So kind of a cool effect. Um, next up, this project is actually going to build it so I can fade individually fade these values so I can mix any color I want, so that's the next step. Alright, I'm back for the uh, with the next iteration of, of this uh, setup, which is me trying to attempt to individually control the levels of red, green, and blue to sort of fade the light to whatever color I wanted, so um, basically what I did in code is is made it to where for each input, it cycles and and adds a adds like a plus three, quote unquote, to the value of of the light, which the range for the values can go from zero to two fifty five. And then at the end of the code, all it's doing is oh here, let me just scroll down. All it's doing is checking that if any of the values is greater than or equal to two fifty five, then it cycles it back down to zero. So basically, what this means is that I can up, for the time being, I can only up the value of, uh, of each individual color so that as I up it releases its, or as it reaches its maximum, which is two, 255, or the brightest that that color will be, then it resets itself to zero. Um, I would like to be able to control them up and down manually, but I would need to have more uh, control input, like at least six, and with this controller here I only have four, which is up the up, down, left, and right. I thought about making a modifier, so if I hold down one of the one of the fourth and then push one of the other ones, it might, like, instead of increasing, it would decrease it, but the problem is I find that it seems the, uh, it seems the left input on the controller isn't functioning, so I might have to maybe buy another one of these RC cars to try it out, but... Anyways, let me show you what I've got here with the current setup. Um, you can see now it's sort of like a, a very light, almost pale, like white color. Um, same rules apply as before. If I push up, it's going to be adding red value. Push down, it's going to be adding green value. Push right, it's going to be adding blue. So you can see as I push up here, it's adding more red. And as it reaches its maximum of red, it resets. So here I'll add a little bit of red. Come down here, add a little bit of green. And you see as I add more green, it'll reset back down. You'll mainly see red. So let me reset that real quick again. And then as I push on the right one, you'll see more blue get added. It's sort of like a fuchsia color there. So as I add more blue, it'll reset also. There. So you can tell. It's kind of interesting. You can sort of go through here and make your own custom color. 
it's a lot harder it's a lot harder to see on the camera everything looks sort of blown out but um, in person it really it really makes for some nice uh, some nice combining of colors that's kind of like a straight white it's a like a high value of of each of them but I wish this sort of showed it better but it really looks a lot better in person than it does on the camera so anyway so that's the uh, the concept of this um, it's actually pretty easy and a lot easier than some of the other stuff I've done but only it took me adding about 10 lines of code to get the fading in so that's where it's at uh, might be a duck into like a more uh, permanent permanent project housing but for now it's an LED in a straw so all right I'm back with the, uh, the final iteration um, another iteration past the last one which I think said was final but Basically what I've done here is, since, as I mentioned before, my left input of the controller here seems to be defunct. Um, I decided to incorporate a small switch into the system, which I basically am being used as a modifier. Uh, if that switch is held and then one of the other buttons on the remote control is pushed at the same time, it decreases the value of any given color instead of decreasing it. Um, so let me show you a little bit here. Here I've got the uh, serial monitor running on the computer so you can see the the inputs and this is like when I push the uh, when I push the modifier switch that I just added you can see that the switch is set down I just have it I just have it outputting to that so I can make sure it's working properly so I, I had to modify the code so that if the button on the controller is being pushed as well as this modifier then the value for the red green and blue is decreased instead of increased so look here is I, I'll push up on the red value and now I have it set to where it caps at 255 and push up on the green value and it caps at 255 and then same story with the blue so and as you can see I'll hold down hold down the modifier and push red it brings it down to zero down to two rather same thing with the green and then same thing with the blue which effectively turns off the uh, LED. But so let me show you here the lights off. Sort of what this uh, what this does. Um, so here I'll add in some red. You can see it turns on red. I can make it really bright red. And then if I hold down, it's kind of a trick. But if I hold down the button here, this little miniature switch here I put on here. If I push that and hold it down and push up, it will suck the the red value out and then back up hold down the modifier switch and then back down and the same thing can be done with uh, the green and the blue of course so here's the green up green down oop, green down and then blue up and blue down maybe if I can get my coordination down so with this you can sort of you know maybe add a little red Add a little blue, make a nice, nice uh, kind of fuchsia color. Um, and maybe if I want to take, take the red out of it, and add some green to make more of a more of a teal. And I can I can do that, just like that. And once again, it's kind of hard to see the color. Really appreciate the color here. It's a really a beautiful, rich color, uh, just in person. But the camera sort of blows it out. So, so yeah, it's pretty cool being able to. Add and add and take out color as you wish. So definitely gives it more flexibility. This is kind of what you know I wanted it to be from the beginning. So it's cool that I'm uh, you know gonna be able to do this. It's the idea is to have it retrofitted in some kind of more like wall mount appropriate medium. Maybe some element incorpor incorporating ping pong balls, which are a good means to. Uh, to diffuse these LEDs, so so yeah, there you go. Let me sap the uh, sap all the color out of it one more time, so you can see it in its off state. Oop, and there you go. So hope you enjoyed it.